I'm a wizard. Hey, don't catch my my fishing poles on fire. You're a little pyromaniac, aren't you? Or a wizard, which one? I like wizard more. Okay. Hey, what's going on guys? This is Fish Dude. Welcome back. Today we're here with our special guest, Brad Rigger. He's the owner of SCM Promos. How are you? Good. Are you awake this super early morning? Kind of. So so. So so. Yeah, it's not. We'll get you awake. Okay. So I think I have a really big treat for you today. Um, some good friends of mine, uh, Zane and Christy, own a property. It's about 30 miles outside of Waco, uh, kind of past the little town of Golson, and it's called Spring Lakes Ranch. Okay, now as the name implies, it has several lakes on it and they're all spring fed. And so the water is just crystal clear. Like you'll, we'll be able to see the bass swimming around it. I think you're gonna love it. We're gonna have a ball. So what's gonna be best uh, to fish with there? Well, you ready for this? Here's what our day looks like. Uh, okay. That looks like a lot of stuff, right? That looks like pretty much everything. Crate baits, uh, chatter baits, Texas rigs, jerk baits. Oh my goodness, we're gonna be top fishing. water oh frogs. Even exactly. frogs work. Oh yeah. Oh man, I'm yeah. I'm ready. Man. Yeah. So uh, why do you have so many rods if you're just going to be fishing for bass? So when you go out to a golf course, you see the guys and they got their big golf bag, right? Yeah. And they have all their different clubs. They have yeah. drivers and two iron to nine iron, and they have a putter and a sand wedge and all that, okay? Well, my rods are kind of like having a bunch of golf clubs. What do you, what do you call a fish with no eyes? A fish. Because there's no eyes. <laughs> Brad. When do we get on the lake? Let's go. Okay, Brad, so I'm kind of on uh, lawn fair and square. Uh, I'm sorry I didn't beat you. Well, I've been fishing a lot longer than you, Kenji. You're doing so. great. But you know what? I'm tired of catching buckets. Let's go catch some bass. Let's go. Oh, yeah. There you go, Kenji. Oh, yeah, good one. Got... Hey, skinny fish is good, right? Uh -huh. Oh, he came off. That's all right. I got another joke. Okay, <laughs> let me hear it. It's not related to fishing, but what do you call a teacher that farts a lot? <laughs> I have no idea. A tutor. Ah, you're killing me, Kenji. Did someone teach you, or were you a kid, or did you start fishing as an adult? No, I'm, I like you, Kenji. I've been fishing since I was a kid. If I remember correctly, I was 12, and out at my grandfather's stock tank, 
I caught like a seven pound bass. And from that moment I was hooked. And so then just after that, I just kept fishing more and more as I, as I became an adult. And, uh, I, I still like it. Oh gosh. There you oh go, my Kenji. goodness. Nice. Wow. Do you need to come around me? Oh, did he come off? That was a nice one. So we were talking about your top three, top three favorite lures. Right. Out of those three, out of every single lure that you own, which one is your favorite? Oh, it's definitely going to be top water. You see, I've been throwing a frog all morning. Probably a frog or a rattling chug bug because they're both top waters. To me, there's just nothing more awesome than to see a fish blow up on top water. So, if I have to pick one. I'm gonna say a frog. Okay. You remember just a little bit ago when we were in the studio and I told you that a really good friend of mine, Alton Jones, the Major League Fishing Bass Pro, that he taught me lots of stuff. Well, I told him that I was gonna fish with you and he thought that was really cool that you're into fishing. And so he gave me two autographed hats to give to you. So there you go. If you want to put one of those on, pick which color you like best. I know, I know which ones I like best. This one and this one. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Love it. Thanks, Alton, for the hat. Hope you can come fishing with me sometime. This is a good one. Want me to net him for you? Okay. Grab the net. Yep. Stay now. Oh, is this a... No, I thought it was a helmet. Yeah! Yeah. Get him. This guy literally has a crawfish in his mouth. Look at it. You can see its antennas sticking out. Crazy. Let's go ahead and weigh him. All right, let's weigh him. 2.44. Nice fish, Kenji. That's a great fish. That's another great fish. Way to go, buddy. This is the Strike King Squirrel Crankbait. It's it's the color Delta Red. 
It looks like this, not the chili craw. You can use that too, but it's probably not as effective as this. This is the this is the hard knock one, the ones with the nice rattle effects on the insides of it. The ones that shake around in the water that make that that makes that fish hear it. So then it can so then it just annoys it even more. It's almost like a boost. Dad took me and two other guys, and we went on a river, and it was still really cold. And we actually tied three little jigs onto our line, stacked on top of each other. And there was a lot of times that we actually were catching three white bass at a time. And, I mean, we caught a ton of fish. It was super fun. That's, that's probably my best memory. So I'm throwing a Booyah Pad Crasher, a frog, and uh, I've got 40 pound braid on, and I've got a 20 pound fluorocarbon leader, because I'm throwing up in the thick stuff and just want to make sure I can horse a, horse a bass out, out of that if I catch one. guys we had a nice day of fishing brad how many do you think we caught i don't know kenji i think 35 does that sound about right it sounds you? accurate yep i we think so really did catch a lot it was a fun day of fishing oh my gosh the top water bite that was great that was wasn't great. it yeah and the uh square bow crankbait yeah you caught that a bunch on that Thank you, Zane and Christy, for letting us fish on your ranch today. It w we had a wonderful time on Spring Lakes Ranch, especially the big lake. Okay, so are you ready to go to your shop? Yeah, let's go. I'll show you what I do. Okay, that sounds great. So, tell me about your whole company that you run. Well, SCM is a promotional products company. So what that really means is things like your cool t-shirt with your logo or my t-shirt, that's a promotional product. So we do screen printing on t-shirts. We also do uh, embroidered caps, uh, embroidered polos. We do signs and banners. And then we also do the promotional products. So pins and koozies and coffee mugs, anything that a company or a school or an organization would want to put their logo on. So that's kind of what we do. Hmm. Does that kind of look like a fish kit hat? Yeah. So look behind you. Made you two different logos. Made one where we just put it on the lower part over here, and we didn't do your full logo. We just kind of did your brand, kind of like what's on your shirt. And then we did a bunch of different colors with the full fish logo. Yeah, you want to put one on? Can I have one of your hats? Awesome. It was so cool to see all those different hats with the Fish Kid logo on it. I even saw a backpack with the Fish Kid logo on it. Hey Kenji, I'm going to show you screen printing now. Hi Ruby Yellow. Hello. Bye. See you later.
You can tell that Brad has been doing this business for a long time. He had so much equipment and machines. He told me his dad printed shirts when he was a kid. He was printing Dr. Pepper shirts. So cool. That's what my dad drinks. They can print 400 to 500 shirts an hour on just one of their machines. And then, I saw the Fish Kid logo on the shirt. No way! Whose logo is that? I'm a fish kid down at the bottom, and then look, we got a big old logo on the back. There's one that's finished for you. Now, you want to go see the sign and banner shop? Right. So, Kenji, this is our big printer. This is how we make signs, banners, decals, things like that. So I made you some decals so your friends and your fans can uh, get a decal. You can, you can put one on your laptop or whatever you want to do with it. Alright. Oh, I like your new skirt. to officially make you part of the SCM fishing team. Would you do that? Yeah, totally. So, I've got you some shirts printed up, and hats, and that way we can both kind of help each other, and maybe we can uh, teach a lot more kids to go fish, and how to catch them, and between the two of us, maybe we can get some more, more people interested in fishing. Yeah, sounds like a great idea. I just want to say thank you, Brad. I want to have a big special thank you to you because and SEM because you guys are making me all of this great, cool merch, and I can't believe that you guys actually did this all for me. I can't believe it. You guys, I love you guys.